Since Ape started trading, both Ape stock and AMC stock have been on the downtrend, almost 35% at a minimum for Ape and maybe more for AMC. And unfortunately, you know, I'm going to bring you some not so good news that are coming and that can potentially push the price of these two stocks even lower, especially as the market enters one of the worst season of the year traditionally, historically. All right. But it's a but. There is a but. So make sure you stick till the end of this video because I got a surprise for you. All right. Now, looking at the price action on both these things. Oh, wait a second. What is happening? What is happening? We do have Ape stock, you know, on the on the downtrend here after hours. I do see 5.6%. So what is happening? Let's check AMC to see exactly if we also have something else happening here. AMC is also on the down on the on on, on the uptrend, 2.45% on after hours. Let's look at Beth Bad and Beyond to see if we do have the same thing happening. Nope, nothing happening on Beth Bad and Beyond. GameStop, what about GameStop? On GameStop, you know, uh, we have mm, merely nothing. Maybe some people are covering after hours like they usually do. Well, we'll have to see how things to go tomorrow. But it doesn't change, you know, going back to I'm derailing, you know, I'm digressing. Oh, almost 8% after hours. Mother of all the short squeezes, what is happening? Anyway, I was saying, if you look at these last five days, all right, you can see that since this whole thing started trading, you know, it's down 32%. It's down 32% and AMC is not a surprise, you know. Now, yesterday, Bloomberg posted this article, you know, and this article is about, you know, something we, we, I shared with you uh, three days ago. Betting against meme stocks may get easier with new ETFs filings, all right, because there is a new ETF that is actually going to make things easier for people, not only institutional, but for people to short the meme stocks, AMC, GameStop, et cetera, et cetera. This is actually something not much good, not so good. Why? Because having an ETF shorting the meme stocks makes it indeed obviously more easy because people can just you know hold the etf and it will increase the selling pressure in those stocks because this etf is pretty much holding a short position against those now to make things worse you do have this other article coming in when it comes to looking at the history historically traditionally when you look back on the calendar of you know since the market inception the stock market could retest its june low over the next few weeks on recession fears as it enter the worst time of the year. Generally, you know, the weakest time of the year for the S&P 500, which is a representation of the overall U.S. stock market, has been from September 6th to October 25th. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that things might not be different because this year is definitely a very weird and bizarre year just because we are technically in a recession, but anything... I mean, not a, not this recession doesn't look like a, a, a real recession. You know, th th there are a few things happening and we still have, you know, the COVID lockdowns happening in China. We still have people, you know, having fear around inflation. And whew, there is a lot of FUD out there, you know, to say the least. Now, does that mean, does that mean that AMC can go to zero or it can go to zero, especially as we get this new ETF shorting the meme stocks? Um, well, here's the thing, folks. Despite what the media want to tell us, despite what, you know, um, people on YouTube want to sell Ape in order to buy more AMC or whatsoever, you know, AMC is a company and it's not a meme company because people waking up every morning in order to go to work for AMC are not doing a meme job. No, they're doing a real job. And AMC has been proving for the last two years Despite whatever the media wants you people or tell to the world, AMC has been improving significantly its financial position and its, you know, future as a company. All right. Now, for the AMC stock price to go to zero, it will mean that the company has to go bankrupt. Do we see AMC going bankrupt in the next year or maybe the next 24 months or maybe the next 60 months? I don't think so. Maybe I'm seeing things differently, but if you see things differently, please let me know in the comment section. But I don't see AMC as a company going bankrupt for the next 24 to 60 months. Now, if it's not the case, then 
there is something else pushing AMC into this, you know, bear territory into low levels, all right? And I want also to share with you this, and I'm gonna end on this note. If you look at, this is the buy ratios against the sell ratios, all right? AMC, look, we have 74% buys, in Ape, we have 83% buy against only sell on 17% and 26% on sell on AMC. So what does it tell me? It tells me that the huge buying, I mean, the huge set short pressure, the huge selling pressure, the negative pressure that we're seeing here, which is behind the share price of both of these stocks, losing a tone since the last, what, uh, 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 one or two weeks, has nothing to do with the natural things that are supposed to push the price higher. So bottom line is the shorts have not covered, but we will go into details in another video that I'm gonna to post today on why I see the shorts starting to cover very, very soon because we have at least two catalysts that are pushing, that can potentially push the price a, little, a lot more higher and you know the shorts will be caught per surprise. So make sure you don't miss that video. I'm gonna see you there, all right?